Yo, what is up you guys and boys and girls, we are back on the Coffin of Andy and Lele. So, I haven't played this game in a minute. It's been like at least about like since... 8 months? No, I'm trying to think. It's been, it's been a minute since I played this freaking game, man. So, obviously, we're gonna get right into this. And I'm pretty sure we were on the demo version, so... I think we could continue off of this one. Ooh, episode 2, let's go. And I already completed episode 1. All right, let's get it, man. I'm excited, dude. I'm so happy I get to play this game again. You are finishing up what's left of your lunch. The consequences of your actions have yet to catch up with you, which is nice. There's nothing interesting in the paper, right? I'm not done reading. <laughs> Bro, this man Andrew, bro. I'm so glad I get to play this game again, man. It's It's been too long. It's been too long. I've been waiting for this game for so freaking long, man. Uh, it's been a week. The odds that there is something now are non-existent. Just let me check. Ugh, I'm bored. How much longer can we stay here anyway? We're almost out of money. Uh, I don't know. Technically I have money. I just can't use it without giving away where I'm to the bank. Oh, okay. So, no money then. And I don't get why they want to check my ID for thing. <laughs> like, god damn, I just wanted to stay at a hotel. Why do you need to know who I am? Oh yeah, I just realized this game's this game's also based on the 90s. Like this is this is like this is like a 90s era timeline apparently. So that's pretty cool to know. The only reason I know that because I checked in the genre uh, of Steam. <laughs> that's it. I'm paying up front, aren't I? So it's not like I bail out on them. That's true. Boo hoo. The motel is just fine too. It's really not. I swear I heard gunshots last night. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, are you serious? Gunshots? Oh my god. Or something like that. Or was that just you? I haven't shot anything. Yet. <laughs> what? 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 What do you mean? Oh my god, dude. These, these siblings are sus. What? I think I left my gun back in the room. Oh no, as fingerprints too. I really wish you'd be less nonchalant about everything all the time. Hey now, we can't both be constantly shitting ourselves over every little thing. True, let's just get back to the motel before someone breaks in and steals the goddamn thing. Oh, we have to actually go back there? Hey, yo, we got a bra. Hey, get your fat ass out of the way. <laughs> ass, I think you met my awesome fat tits, you cocksucker. <laughs> Boom, you go. <laughs> Whatever, wanker. Wanker? What are they, British? Is, is, are they in the UK? No, what the hell? There's an article about a chemical leak in some city you've never been to. The article details instructions for people in the area to stay home and to steal their windows. <laughs> to steal their windows. Hazmat workers will be sent to rescue people block by block. Okay. But where's her? Andrew has been hoarding newspapers ever since you arrived. Leave it to Andrew to insist on getting a room with two separate beds. Only to then have a panic attack every other night. Bro! <laughs> this girl, man. This girl is insistent on just taking full control of this man. I suppose I should throw these in the washer while I still can. Are those socks? Oh, I don't know. It's paper. It's the paper from a few days ago. There's nothing worthwhile written on it. The paper isn't even comfortable enough to wipe your ass with. All in all, a total waste of money. Oh, damn. Um. You throw the laundry in the washer. They don't got no dryer, bro. Hey, yo. 
Did you find the gun yet? That is a good question. Where is this damn gun? The closet is empty except for reclaim your gun. Though it's not really yours anyway, but whatever, the warden's gun is yours now. Okay, interesting. There's no pillow. Uh, oh, they sleep together. Wow, that's damn. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> that's why the other pillow is on the other side. Bro, they really pushing this. They they are really pushing for this incesting to work. Like, okay, <laughs> like no for me, but like, all right. Um, you're not done yet here. How am I not done yet? Oh, okay, I gotta go, Andrew. All done, you're welcome. Great, thanks. I really am such a sweetheart. You're so goddamn lucky to have me. Yeah, yeah. I cook and clean, and I'm a feast on the eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> this man, Andrew, is so miserable. <laughs> Meanwhile, what do you do? Watch TV all day like a slob? Bro, why is he doing Andrew like this? Like, he does not deserve this type of treatment. Knock it off. You're not going to be in the news, Andy. Oh my god, this is... <laughs> oh shit, he's... He's actually pissed. <laughs> I should have known. Oh, what are you going to do about it, Andy? Gonna choke me out again? Are you sure? Are you? Are you? Do you want me to? Oh, come on. I'm kidding. It's all in good fun. I thought we were fine. We are. I'm just messing around. It's just a nickname. Get over yourself. It's the one that I asked of you. And it's symbolic, dumbass. You and your romanticisms <laughs> showed up your ass. I don't know what I was expecting. Listen, I'm behaving. What more do you want? I'm being so good to you. Are you? Oh, oh shit, wait. Bro, the game just fucking glitched. Yeah, yeah, you think I'm so awful, huh? You want to see what it's like when I actually misbehave? No, I do not want to see that at all, actually. I do not want to see that at all. <laughs> I could be so much worse. Should I show you just how awful I really am? Damn, this 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 girl is like actually annoying. Go for it. Though you're going to find me a lot less accommodating than Andy. And now to some less important news. One of the coordinate quarantine apartments has had a bit of a situation. Nothing major, just a fire that burned the whole place down. Everybody died. <laughs> everybody died. Yes, everybody. <laughs> They're going to jail, dude. <laughs> These kids were to move to Canada or something. Are they in Canada? I think they're in... Uh, wait, I think I'm dumb. I think they are in Canada. No, they're not. Where are they at? I don't even know where they're at. A representative of the water company is here with us today. Is there anything you'd like to add? Yes, my deepest condolences to the family, members of the deceased. This apartment was mostly, was, was most definitely not a wholly mismanaged, uh, mess better burned to the ground. Therefore, it is so sad that this happened. To ease that sadness, we recommended you try our Toxy Soda. We just rolled out three new exciting foot. Excuse me, sir. Something seems to be going wrong with your microphone. I'm sure you mean to say you drink our trusty bubbly poppy, which happens to be our sponsor. Are you s <laughs> no way. And it doesn't even make your organs bleed out of your ass, unlike some alternatives. Bro, they're really promoting a freaking ad while they're reporting on everyone died in the apartment. Like, what the? I don't. I don't get this game, bro. <laughs> this game confuses the hell out of me. Anyway, that was all for now. Tune in again later for more wholesome news to cheer up your day. That was our apartment, wasn't it? Was being the correct tense indeed? Did I leave the oven on? It said everybody died. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Oh god. Um, they must think we died too, and all the evidence of our escapades 
let's say, has been incinerated. Is that really how that works? I wonder about that. I mean, it could work. I don't... Maybe. <laughs> I told you it'll all work out. That still leaves us homeless. And just about penniless. Yeah, that's actually not good. Whatever, things are clearly going to sort themselves out. I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night. I'm gonna stay up a little bit. I'm gonna stay up a bit longer. Maybe the late night news will have more information on the fire. See yourself. Oh, we're sleeping by Andy's bed. As usual, you fall asleep without a care in the world. Someone has entered the room? What the fuck? What the hell? Whoa! Wait a minute, what? What the? Wait, they were murdered? Oh hell no, nah, bro. Wake up! We've got to go! Uh, mm. Get up! I had a vision! We're about to get killed! We've got to go now! Do we not have a car? So I want to stay here and see if the killer actually shows up. And what did I do to deserve to get murdered in my sleep for anyway? Might be a bit risky staying here. You don't know which direction they came from, right? Assuming anyone shows up anyway. They will, I'm sure. And you so and so you stand there and wait. And wait. And wait. Andrew lights up his fourth cigarette. Another one? Way to blow money. Blow it out of your ass. I'm bored and cold. You're probably cold because that crap messes with your blood circulation. Okay, mom. Makes you impotent too, by the way. It didn't sound like I'd be meeting any girls anytime soon anyway. What's stopping you? Oh my god. <laughs> wow, dude. He is so pissed. He's so done with her, dude. Like, honestly, I don't even know why he even deals with this, man. Ugh, I said enough. Quiet, you. I thought we were hiding. Uh, oh shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's the hood, dude. It's him. The cultist. Lucky for you, it wasn't the guy who you're expecting to come slit your throat. Though he sure looked familiar anyway. Didn't we eat that guy? Don't say that out loud. Oh, sorry. Didn't we chop that guy up and store him in our freezer? Oh my gosh, like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. Ashley is really folding the bag here. <laughs> She's folding it. <laughs> Seriously though, I guess there's more from where he came from. Where do you suppose he was off to? Dude, this is not... This is crazy. Why, sex and drugs party with demons? Duh. Why are you asking me? Whatever, shall we follow him? But I'm trying to see if my vision comes true or not. It's not like we both have to be here. You really don't want to stand here alone in the middle of the night. But you're also curious about what this cultist look like is up to. Ugh, fine, you go. But come back soon. Hmm. You are Andrew? Alright, let's go. Wait, hold the door, please. Run, sucker, run! The elevator leaves before the third cultist can board. <laughs> Curse you, brats! Um, are we supposed to be doing this? Is asking for a passcode? What the hell? What? Nothing happens. One eternity later. Oh, the code's up there. It's six. What the hell, dude? Are you serious? I thought the code was in the thing. Okay, now I'm actually mad that that's the code. That's actually pissing me off that that's the code. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? 
Of course. I don't know why I even entertained the idea of it being anything else. Yeah, I I thought it was because they... Sh oh. Huh? Who, who let you in? Sorry, was I not supposed to be here? This is a private event. Shoo shoo. Sorry, I got lost. Is this a sex and demons party? This isn't this the demon sex party? What? Uh, I hope not. My wife would kill me. What the hell are you talking about? There's no such thing. <laughs> I do have a wife. No, there is no demon sex party. Oh well, just a regular demon summoning then? I mean, that's what I was told, but... Listen, who the hell invited you? You're not even dressed properly. Right, sorry, I didn't know there was a dress code. I don't know who told you about today, but you can go kick rocks. Alright, I'll go. No harm done. I can't believe this. They literally invite anyone these days, huh? That just means Six Eyes is getting popular. We should be glad. So I'm guessing our neighbor was part of these guys' little club. We're pretty far from home though. Maybe they gather at multiple locations? Can these guys actually summon demons though? I mean, our neighbor managed, managed it eventually, but you decided you should get inside somehow and find out. Are you serious? They're just gonna kick you out again? Uh, yeah, we should probably go, right? All done? Just check it to see if you're dead yet. No one has showed up. Maybe it was a vision from some other night. Though, if we're leaving this morning, how could that be? Some nightmares are just that. I don't have nightmares. This was the first one ever. What, really? I have nothing but nightmares. Either way, I'm all good. Go back to snooping on the cultist. I don't know how to get in though. They told me to get lost. Ugh, I need a smoke. Go have it elsewhere. I've had enough of your secondhand smoke for tonight. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you, that shit's annoying. I hate his secondhand smoke. That shit pisses me the fuck off. Let me go over here. My mom be doing that shit, I'd be so mad. I'd be like, bro, can you not do that anymore? Uh, what do I care about those clowns are up to anyway? You decide that if a way forward doesn't strike you before you're done with your smoke, you'll just call it quits. And then just as you're putting your smoke out, there's a key under the cigarette butt jar. Got an employee key. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. What? Dude, these mofos are careless, bro. They put an employee key down here? <laughs> what type of cultist place is this? The top layer is full of cake, lower has some paper cups. Are they gonna make me- wait, someone has left a note, it reads, To whomever ate my casserole, I will have your head on a plate. Ah, the office life. Same shit, different toilet. <sighs> Good thing that's not gonna be me. There's a crumbled note in the trash, it reads, Stop eating my lunch, you animals. Damn, everyone's just eating everyone's shit. It's kind of funny. The buttons won't work without a swipe tag. A what? On the car sit plates full of cake and coffee dispenser. What's with the cakes? It's a bit late for a work meeting. The elevator is still coming up. Wait. Do I leave? Ugh, this is going to take two trips. Grubbling as he goes, the cultist takes one of the cars down the elevator with him. Um, the guy will be back for the other cart soon. Wait, are we supposed to like remove paper cups from the cart? Wait, do we? You pull down one of the curtains. Got curtains. Wait, why are we taking all this stuff for? I don't understand. You wrap yourself in the curtain like a ghost and stuff yourself inside the car. Oh, we're going. Okay. Hmm. Oh, we're going in a thing. The cultist hastily shoves a piece of cake into his mouth. <laughs> this guy, man. Oh, Dark Lord, that is good. What? <laughs> Yo, he carts you into the elevator. How is this cart so much heavier than the other? <gasps> Could it be? The weight of my sins? Oh my god, no! 
Oh hell no, bro. Okay, okay, be cool. No one has to know. It's between me and the devil. Why, yo, oh, just act normal. Did I miss it? Shh. I can't see anything from here. Oh shit. <clears throat> well then everyone, the ritual is all set up. Now I know you're all excited about the free coffee, but first, things first. All together now. Show yourself, Lord Unknown. This is such fun. Reveal yourself to us, Lord Unknown. The cultists keep calling for Lord Unknown for a while, but it's becoming increasingly clear nothing is going to show up. Wow, look at this amateur hour. Why well, Ashley summoned something on her first try. Though that's probably not a good thing, is it? No, it's not. That's actually a, that's actually a very bad thing. You should be extremely worried, actually. I feel Lord Unknown is with us today, but only in spirit. Um, I I brought the carts down, but someone stole one of the cakes. I don't know who. Oh, can we have some now? <sighs> Yes, please enjoy yourselves. We aren't supposed to be here. Where are your robes? Uh, sorry, the thing is I spilled some coffee on them. Haha, <laughs> idiot. Now that you've got your answers, you miss Ashley. I do? Oh, did someone follow? Oh. Wow, someone is under underdressed. These cheap asses offer milk for the coffee instead of cream. Also, the beer they sell tastes like piss. Not that I ever drank piss. Well, say something. Converse. Where do you hear about this gathering in the first place? The occult magazine I'm subscribed to had an ad. There's an ad for this? Are you so the hell? I figured it was going to be lame, but I thought some. Ch but I thought I'd check it out since I don't live too far away. What about you? Oh shit, no, it's doing it again. What the, why did it do? I don't know how to fix that either. Like that's so annoying. Go back. Oh shit. Hey, didn't we already tell you to beat it? Oh, are they done? How did the summoning go? Ugh, no. Look man, you're ruining the whole vibe with that getup. Yeah, you can't come in here dressed like this again. The whole point is that we don't know who's who. You know what? I think you're right. Same on me. I'll leave right away. Good, good. Just don't let this happen again. Have a good night. <laughs> that was actually pretty easy. Okay, I think I need to like actually save though, cause like I'm kind of tired of like my saves just. Oh well. Are you done snooping on this cultist? Yeah, so there's apparently a little cultist club where they all gather around for some demons and treats. But they can't summon for shit. Absolutely nothing showed up. Nothing showed up on this end either. I don't understand. It was a vision for sure. There was like... You hear a car. Oh, that's... It's... That's him! That's the guy who slit our throats in my dream. Hey, we finna go confront him? Yikes, he really just went into our room just like that. You still doubted me. Where do you get the key? Should we just leave? We're supposed to vacate the room in the morning anyway. Our stuff is still in there. What stuff? We sold off most of the junk you we were hoarding. <laughs> and I can live without the trash and the laundry. Well, like someone pointed out, we can't keep wasting money buying new clothes. I am not risking my life getting in there to rescue your socks. It's it's my better bra, actually. This new one sucks. Still not interested. In fact, I'm somehow even less inclined now. Ugh, you know nothing of my troubles. Regardless, I think we have to kill that guy, though. This is no random burglary. He's specifically after us for whatever reason. Like, somehow he tracked us down, so even if we run away now, won't he keep coming after us? That's... Uh, not wrong, but... Ugh, why is he still in the room? We're not even in there! Well, if I was him, I figure we're out getting food or something. So now he's probably waiting to kill us upon entry. Unlikely, since he wants to go about this quietly. Mm, um... Hmm, 
He's definitely hiding in the closet or something, waiting for us to go back to sleep. Then he'll kill us in our sleep, just like in my vision, again. And you know this how. I know because that's what I do. Duh. Plus, he's using a knife, so there. Listen, Andrew, just trust me. I've thought these things through. You question not why he's thought about such things? Now enough dilly-dallying, let's get in there and pretend we forgot something. Then we'll lure him somewhere less conspic conspicuous. And then what? You have to ask? <sighs> oh shit. Are we really going- are we really going to go in there? <laughs> Bro, what? Alright, leave this to me. This has to be the stupidest thing we've done so far. <laughs> Firstly, I think looting- Personally, I think shooting fireworks indoors was dumber, but hey, opinions. Which, if I may add, was also your idea. I was 12. You should have stopped me. So, should I talk you out of this one, or... No, shut up and follow my lead. Oh, Jesus Christ. You are Ashley. Oh, Jesus. No one has stepped forth to kill you yet. Oh gosh, jolly Andrew. I just realized our impromptu night uh, impromptu uh, a, a, oh, night walk to the store has left me parched. Is that so? Let us return to the gas stop at the at once. And since we want to be oh so quick about it, let's take a shortcut through the park. We may frolic amongst the College shielded from sight. Oh god. How's that sound, huh? Terrific, let's go. <laughs> Not so fast. Let me grab my things. First, I just realized that I don't trust the staff here. Given that you're about to roam with a hitman around, would you like to save the game? Don't tell me to do. Uh, save. Actually, I do want to save. Yes, you're right. I do want to save at this part. Wait, what the hell? Stop. It's doing things on its own again, what the hell? Got wash laundry? Holding the door open for me, are we? What a gentleman. Just letting in some air, fresh air. The sounds of the city. Hurry up and get your things already. I already did. Oh wait. Is this the park? Oh, everyone over here. Is is he coming after us or not? I don't know. I thought he would. Let's pick a corner we can ambush him from. What corner? It's all bushes. <laughs> An abandoned shopping cart. Very classy. I mean, can we like... Here, this tree will hide us nicely. What are we going to do if he just stays at the motel? Well, I guess we'll just leave then. We'll grow eyes in the back of our heads and keep watching over our shoulders at all times. <sighs> what a pain. I can't believe I'm actually hoping he'd show up now. Good. Don't feel bad about murdering a murderer. And on that note, not it. Wow. Gave Andrew the gun. What do you know? You're making me do it again? Dude, only has a knife. You've got this. <laughs> what if he misses? Uh, I hear footsteps, I think. Ashley, wait, I've never fired a gun. Crap, I think he stopped. I can't hear anything anymore. You can't ambush a killer that's waiting to ambush you. And you can't very well start looking for him either. Not without letting him know what you know he's here. Crap, did we whisper too loudly? Is he onto us? Why do he stop? To see what we're up to. Bet this all looks suspicious as hell. This doesn't look like anything. He shouldn't even be able to see us from behind. An idea hits you then. Oh, you dirty boy. No, we can't do it here. Oh my god. Ugh. <laughs> Dee. Off I go. Come on and find me. I don't want to. Ashley, seriously. I don't know how this thing works. No peeking. Dude, he is agitated as hell. You are Andrew. Alright, I'm playing as Andrew now. 
The damn time has come to play and hide and seek with the killer. Oh god, it's just you. What are you doing, you absolute? Shh! You didn't find me. Keep looking. Do you want to die? What if he sneaks up on you or... Shoo, shoo, leave. Oh my god. There are some bugs in the bush, but not much else. There he is. Shoot! Oh! Did... Is he dead? Nice work! Oh shit, we actually killed him. Ashley reclaims her gun. Dude, you emptied the whole thing! I panicked! This thing is useless now. Well, I mean, no one knows it's empty. <sighs> I guess so. Do they sell bullets to just anyone, or do you need a license or something? I have no idea. Sorry, Ashley. Although I wouldn't have wasted them all if you hadn't made me shoot him. Are we still playing the finger pointing game? I thought we agreed to leave that behind. Let's just get out of here before someone sees us. Oh yeah, and what the fuck was that? What was what? Was what? You running off out of the blue. What? You need an excuse to start rummaging through the bushes? Now, that the hitman th thought you were looking for me, he sat there waiting to kill you. He didn't know you had a gun and would kill him instead. I'm a bloody genius. Dude, you're terrible. Like, actually, just terrible. And what if he was in the bush you ran off to, huh, genius? Well, he wasn't. Ugh. Quit your bitching. It all worked out. I mean, it could have not worked out, but okay. <laughs> We're just gonna completely forget about it. Fine. Clue me in the next time you have these genius ideas so that I can tell you off. <laughs> Dude, she's actually terrible. You are actually, oh my god. This girl is crazy. What do we do with the body though? Do we just leave him here? Why not? As long as no one saw, saw us do it, who's gonna have a clue it was us? Hell, this guy carries knives with him. He's clearly a criminal. Maybe the authorities will assume his friends got to him or something. Ever the optimist. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's just go before someone comes to walk their dog or something. Got car keys? Oh shit, we got a car? Oh yeah, baby. Leave those fingerprints all over the guy. That's just great. I'm sure you meant to say something else. I guess it doesn't matter, since you've never gotten your fingerprints taken. Have you? Yeah. Ugh, motherfucker, what for? My driver's license? Well, good thing it's me manhandling this corpse then. A very dead hitman. Okay, so well, that's good then. Alright, let's see if this guy has anything interesting in this car. So much for not leaving fingerprints. It's a little late to worry about that. You've already touched the door, the handle, the wheel. It's fine if it's me, right? Newspaper patoots of various incidences. Most of them are about your old apartment, both tainted water and the fire situation. There's also an article from last week about some chemical leak in some other city. Someone has scribbled the words shame shit in the corner. Mediate mindlessly sits on top of the car seat. Wait, so... Take the car and go? Vroom vroom. So where to? Um, could you elaborate? We're off to somewhere, right? Got the car and everything now. This isn't exactly the best situation to go joyriding in a stolen car. We barely have enough money to feed us. Fine, let's go take mom's. For fuck's sake, does everything I say go in one ear out the other? We're never going to talk to anyone we know ever again, remember? Did I say squat about talking to her? Let's go rob the bitch blind and leave. What money do you think she has exactly? I'm sure she's got something. I thought she infiltrated, uh, I thought she inherited some jewelry from grandma. Well, yeah, but she can't sell those. She can't, but I sure can. Ah, uh, no, we still can't go over there. Why not? We've got pursuers or something. Our parents' place is definitely something they've looked into. Listen, Andy. Wrong. Andrew, the, the purser, 
The pursuer is taking a nap in the park right now. Wait, I'm confused. I thought they didn't have parents or something like that. Or like, I know they, I knew they had parents, but I thought they were like moved away far away from here. Andrew, the pursuer is taking a nap in the park right now. Do you honestly think you're anywhere near important enough for someone to hire to? Oh, Jesus Christ, dude, this sister is, an, this sister's a dick, bro. If anything, it seems they assumed that guy took care of us. And that's that. But the thing is, I'd rather be overly cautious than dead. <sighs> we'll be we'll be quick. Get in there, rob them, kill them, and get out. So now you want to kill our parents? Great. You just said we can't talk to them again anyway. So they might as well be dead. I'm way too tired for this. Fine, we'll just rob them then. Break in while they're at work, get some money, and then get lost. I'll take it. I forgot why their parents put them in that place anyway, that apartment. I kind of forgot. I I don't know. Maybe we might find out uh, from this sequence. I'll take it. Where did they live now anyway? I know the place, but I don't remember the exact address. She actually told you the address? Yeah. Huh? The only thing she told me was to stop calling her. She probably figured I'd tell you then. Well, what a sloppy job you did. Do forgive me, Ashley. It didn't seem like relevant information at the time. Whatever, just drive. I haven't driven a car in over two years. Will we be fine? Just don't distract me with anything. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> it's been on the floor. <laughs> Damn, fucking cry chop the shit out of her. My god, it's not even your car. <laughs> Shut up. Put your seatbelt on. Boo, this sucks. Yeah, yeah, it sucks now. Hurry up. I'll be goddamned if we get caught in a dead man's car just because we got pulled over for some stupid shit. Make me then. Do you or do you not want to go rob our parents? I said make me, Andy, oh my god, I, okay, what do you want? If it's to piss me off, then you're nailing it right now. Oh, come on, it's just a joke. I know it's not a joke. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. He's getting mad. He's getting angry. Yeah, it is. You get so mad, it's just funny. I'm not gonna lie, I think Andy's just stressed, bro. Like, our boy just shot somebody. And you over here just being a complete bitch. Like, I don't know you, Ashley. You've pulled this shit before. I have no idea what you're talking about. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> You'll keep going Andy Andy until I get tired of correcting you. And suddenly, it's Andy and Lele and stupid bullshit all over again. Hey, they said the title, but not the coffin. Um, way to read into it. I was honestly just joking around. Well then, it's not funny, and you're going to stop. Nothing is funny to you anymore. <sighs> I like these panel sequences; they're nice. Oh. Well, are you going to drive or what? I just don't want us to get in trouble. But you don't have to be such a hard ass about it. I do though. When you're such a dumbass about it, just drive. Are you angry? I'm looking out for us. Fucking drive, Andy. Yeah, they got so much beef, bro. J drive, Andrew. Aw, she's about to cry. And so he does, finally. And you decide to give Andrew the silent treatment until he apologizes. Oh, we're Ashley? Okay. You're not sure what he needs to apologize for exactly, but you won't forgive him until he does. So while you wait for him to Notice you're not talking to him. You fall asleep. What the? You're pretty sure you're dreaming, but at the same time you feel wide awake. Oh, is this one of those like dreamlike states in like the RPG games? Your soul. Huh? What? Your soul? Who's there? Where are you? And where am I? Is this another vision or what? There is no response. There's nothing to step on. 
pick the red flowers. Oh. Oh yeah, I'm dumb. What? That's how that works? Oh, okay. Alright. <laughs> Mmm, the eyes. Char soul. Summon you to can't tune in? Hey, what? What? You're all muffled. I can't hear anything. The voice continues talking, but you can't make heads or tails of it. <sighs> Whatever. I should focus on getting out of here anyway. Okay. What? Oh. oh okay, we should just went here then. What the... Um... Oh... Fuck! <laughs> Where am I? Everything looks the same! Picked up the red flowers? Okay. So I think I'm... I'm, I'm assuming we're supposed to go over here. Threw down some red flowers. Oh, it's this guy that we summoned. Well, you just avoided falling down into an eternal void. Lucky. Ah, it's you. I summoned you before, right? Human, you've come. Where am I? In a dream. I called you here. Well, can you wake me up then? I was in the middle of something. It doesn't even occur to you that you should be afraid of the soul-stealing creature. I have summoned you to make a deal. Great, but I can't do this right now. I can't do this now? What if Andrew tries to talk to me? He needs to know I'm deliberately ignoring him instead of being in a coma or something. The demon couldn't care less about the lover spat you're having with your brother? Whoa, wait a minute, is this- are th Lover spat, are they confirming the incest right now? I don't like what I'm hearing. <laughs> this is- Oh god. Is there an actual incest ending to this game? If there is, that's... I don't know how to feel about that. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, mm. It carries on as if you hadn't said anything. Is that a thing? You used my gift. What? Was it useful? Seeing the future? Ah, yes. The trinket you gave me. Yes, it's been very useful. Thank you. Then do you want to see the future again? Sure, I just have to keep holding on to it, right? It is out of energy. <clears throat> I'm able to recharge it. Do you want to make a deal? Of course you do. Never has it ever been a bad idea to make deals with devils. Let's hear it then. What do you want? Human souls. Well, you're not getting mine, so if that was it then. Not yours, tar souls. Is that like an insult or something? Who's then? Just anybody's? And why don't you go get some souls yourself? I cannot enter the human realm unsummoned. Like you cannot enter here. I am able to reach you only because of my tal talisman. But even then, one can only interact between realms through deals. Do we have a deal? I don't really get it, but I can't say I'm all interested in either. Listen, I really need to get back to my brother. If I offer you a soul, you'll make my talisman trinket dream thing work again, right? Correct. Sounds good. I do have a soul or two in mind, actually, but I'll see what Andrew has to say about it. He's kind of... I don't know, something is shifting. I don't really like it. The demon- No, fuck! No, 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 bitch! What the fuck? No! It didn't- Dude, god damn it, it did it again. Picked up red flowers. I don't understand why- Why is it doing that? Why is the game doing this? Like I said, dude, I'm not replaying this shit again. Not to just- There's nothing to step on. That's so annoying, though. Like, I hate- I hate that shit, bro. Because I'm missing, like, key important parts, and it's like, I really- there's nothing to step on. Ugh, that's that's kind of frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it is, you know what it is, what it is, bro. There's nothing I can really do. The door is decorated with your eyes. With eyes enter? No thanks. The door is decorated with red flowers enter? Yep.
I'm assuming this is like the human realm place, right? Picked up red flowers. Hold on. Options. What is going on? Off. Oh, yeah, I was like, it's. I didn't even do that. That's weird. All right. Um. Hey yo. Pick the red flowers. Hey yo. There's nothing to step on. Hold on. All right. Keep going over here. Wait, there's another door here. There's still more? I thought this way would take me home. And good god, I'm so sick of these fucking flowers. What is this? What's happening? Ah! Ashley. Andy, is that you? Help, get me out of this of this shithole. Come on, wake up. It's not funny. I'm trying, jackass. Do something, help me. Uh oh thank god. I was a hair away from taking you to the hospital. Huh? Why well, that would screw us over, wouldn't it? You wouldn't wake up no matter what I did. God, Ashley, don't scare me like that. Uh, what time is it? Like 10 in the morning or something? Mom and Dad should both be at work right now. So, whenever you're ready, I guess. You're only being nice now because you treated me like shit last night. I treated you the way you deserve to be treated. Or actually, no, scratch that. Considering you kept pushing me all around, pushing me around all day, I think I was pretty fucking lenient with you. <sighs> so anyway, this episode is titled "Andrew and Ashley and the Sweet Home Invasion." <laughs> oh God! What kind of knockoff cash grab show is that? I'm not interested. Well, it's definitely all about cash grabbing. <laughs> I, I mean, boo. No, thank you. No, I saw that. You're into it. Let's go. <laughs> no, it sucks. <laughs> but I'm so nice that I'll roll with it for now. Wow. Why on earth are we at some park? Free parking. That's why. Mom and Dad live somewhere down the slope. I'm still confused on why they left these kids alone. This can't be the right place. Look how nice everything is. No, it's gotta be this. She did sound happy when she talked about their new place too. What's their last name anyway? What's their last name anyway? What do you mean, what's their last name? The nameplates on the doors. Did they go with dad's name or mom's? Dad's name, right? Why would they change that at this point? I don't know. To throw us off? You really make it sound like they don't want us to find them. Just the feeling I got. Yeah, like, wait, I'm confused. Like, were they trying to sell us off or some shit? Well, whatever. Let's find the house of Mr. and Mrs. Graves. Graves? What the fuck type of name is that? Grayson? Shittersons? Jones? What type of last names are these? That Jones is like the most normal one. Haha, <laughs> here we go. Don't just knock. No one comes to open the door. All right, all good. Whatever, let's just find a way in. Um. Wow, it actually does really look really nice. Oh, come on, look at this place. They've got a garden and everything. Doesn't matter, we'll fill our pockets and go. The back door is locked. Ooh. Palatable potatoes. Oh, the window. Oh, I think this window is open. Can you reach it? Nope. Um, some surprise the heavy rocks. Uh, okay, can we use those rocks to... A stick. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, the board. Got one in plank. Put over here. 
place down the wooden plank. Okay, how is that gonna help us though? Alright, it's too high. It's still too high. Lift me up. Well, uh, no good. It's open, but it held in place by a latch that's on the other side of the window. Damn it, my fingers can't reach to unhook it. I'll push you up after you've opened the latch. You're just looking for an excuse to touch my ass. Hi, okay, two things. First off, first of all, no. Secondly, I like I needed an excuse. <laughs> now hurry up and find something before I slap you. On my ass or the face? That, my lady, I'll let you find out. Ugh, so it's the face. Fine, I'll find something to unhook the latch with. That's crazy. Would it be the stick? Got a stick. Let's let's see. Let's see. Aha! Andrew helps you climb through the win to climb through the now open window. Give me your hand. I'll pull you up. Thanks, but I'd much rather you just open the a door for me. Oh yeah, that would be easier. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Not so fast. Now, what do we say? Thank you very much. Wrong, try again. Exception exceptionally well done. That was an earth-shattering performance. Yes. To think you'd open a door so swiftly with such grace. Stunning, marvelously, breathtaking. These are but a few words I used to describe your ability to trespass. Oh my god. All right, let's go. Come on, may I come in now? You may. Great, then let's split up. I want to get out of here as, po as fast as possible. Uh, hey, there was something I was wondering about right now. Can it wait, or our situation is kind of time sensitive? Well, it can, I guess. Good, then tell me later. Oh. Is this about her little comatose state of dream? Or whatever it was. You don't even want to know what your parents have been up to on this bed. Oh my god, why do they always think this thoughts? The dresser is locked. So the closets are closed? As well as toys and some robe. You close the closet. Wait, there's toys and robe. Oh, okay. Notice how there aren't any photos of us? Is are they like What do you mean what do you mean by toys? So what? I guess I'm a little offended. It's not like there were any pictures in general in our last place, either. True, but now that there are some, why not of us too? Guess we're just too ugly to put it to put on display. Right, maybe that's it. You're supposed to say I'm pretty, and you're supposed to be robbing the house. Get to it. <laughs> these these freaking siblings, man. They're insane. Um, a dish rack. All right, I guess we're gonna, we're gonna have to like speed through this, right? Wait, I'm confused. How are we supposed to be robbing the house if there's nothing to rob? The dresser is locked. The dresser is locked. Oh, the dresser. Okay, so we need to find a key for the dresser. You find a letter. It reads, "Sorry to hear about what happened with the kids. I agree, it was probably a blessing in disguise. Don't feel guilty. It's not your fault. Lord has sorted it out for you." P.S. Since Andrew won't be finishing college, is there any chance my daughter could have his textbooks? Those are so ridiculously expensive. Thanks in advance. Much love to you and your husband. You never told me you dropped out. I didn't. I. It was just in. It was just on pause until I got out of quarantine. Though, given the situation right now, I guess I did drop out. Well, tough luck for their daughter. Their textbooks are in the ashes now. Wow, so they really did abandon us. That's fucking wild. But I wonder why they did that to us. Or they did that to the kids. Christmas decorations including a string of lights. Oh, that's the key. One of the table laid documents purchasing a house. There's also a key. A dresser key. Yeah, that's it. Okay, we're gonna go up here. And that's the key for the dresser. Wow, dude. What an ad what a what a what a shitty parents we have, dude. Oh, you found the key? Nice. What's in there? 
There is no sight of any jewelry, but you spot some paperwork. It reads, Dear Mrs. and Mrs. Grave, You have opted in for a compensation of da for damages caused by our company's error. Our representatives, a representative will be glad to be with you. Please some, th come discuss the matter further at your earliest convenience. Flipping th through the folder, something else catches your eye. It is the death certificates of Ashley and Andrew Graves. Huh? Huh? I didn't know we died three months ago. What the hell is this? I guess that explains why mom kept telling me not to call. It must have been spooky getting phone calls from a ghost. That's... Someone's entered the house. Oh shit, isn't this too early? They shouldn't be home yet. It's a shame that you wasted all of our bullets. Like we shoot anyone. Anyway, is someone there? Hi mom, it's just us. What? Wait, really? Welcome home. Andrew? Oh, so that's the mom? Wow, she just looks like her kids. <laughs> I just, they actually look alike. What are you doing here? Surprise, we came for a visit. Oh, I see. I, you, you know, you know what? I feel like she knew they were alive. I feel like she always knew they were alive. I don't think it was because they, she, she was afraid he was talking to a ghost. I feel like there's something really weird going on in this situation. But I think we're gonna find out here. Oh, I see. How are you home so early? Did you get fired? It's my day off. I was just out shopping. How did you two get inside? You left the door unlocked. You should really be more careful about that. Did I really? Here, let me help you with those groceries. Thanks. You should have let me know you're, you were coming. How about some coffee? Where do you keep the grounds? In the cup, in the top cupboard. But what about the quarantine? Any milk in yours? Sure, let me just go wash my face. What the hell are you doing? Just play along for now, please. Guess I'll make some coffee. Yeah, something's weird going on. I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like she's gonna kill us or something. He's putting away groceries? Yeah, nah, a dish rag blender. You brew some coffee. So I saw the fire on the news. What happened? What do you care? Well, first we got evacuated after that. They gave us the go ahead to leave. Since we've been cleared of the parasites anyway. Huh, interesting. On the news, they said everyone died. That would certainly make the story sell more. Anyway, here are, here we are now, neither burnt nor full of parasites. I'm just glad you're safe. Yeah, you sure look like it. So, uh, quite the upgrade from our previous place, huh? Where do you get the money for this place? Did you finally win the lottery? No, wait a minute. Did she get the money from them? Dude, I'm not gonna lie to you, this story, this this actually might start getting worse. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm afraid what's about to happen. I, I, oh shit. Ha, I wish. This house needs more serious repairs, but the area is so worth it, don't you think? The perfect non-answer, yeah. They even hold barbecue events here with the neighbors. Barbecue events just like on TV. I thought that was all bullshit, but no, they actually do that stuff here. Bet you stick out like a sore thumb. You'd be surprised, I'm actually quite well liked. Though it's probably all thanks to my cooking skills. It's a shame our Ashley didn't inherit any. Hey! What the hell? <laughs> the rest of the conversation is dreadfully boring. You don't contribute anything to it because you can't keep up with Andrew's lies. And if you're being honest, you don't want to talk to your mother in the first place. Well, it was good seeing you. Your father should be coming home soon, so I really need to start making some dinner. Oh no, don't worry about it. I'll make something. You know full well that was her way of telling you to get lost. Um, oh boy. I can't wait to hear how dad has been. 
You must have been all kinds of stories about repairing this place. That's true. Anyway, why don't you go rest? I'll fix us something. <sighs> I'll take you up on that. Thank you. Mother leaves? You're Andrew? I'm confused though. Why is she trying to put us off so quickly? Somehow, your burglary attempted attempt ended up with you cooking your victim's dinner. Go ahead then. Make something, you smooth talker. Alright, I guess we're cooking then. Okay, the book. You browse the cooking book for some simple recipe. What? I got this. You can go do whatever. I'm alright. What is it? It's nothing. You're stuck with an odd urge to pull this broody bitch into your arms and force her to stay until she smiles. But you push such an idea to the back of your mind. Where it may fester with all other thoughts you wish you never had. Either way, you let her hover over you for now. Find a simple recipe. Okay, are they confirming the incest right now? Cause it just it just seems like they're alluding to it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I mean, I mean, hugging someone is normal completely. But I'm just saying, like, they, just, they make it sound like they're in like a relationship type shit. I don't know, bro. Like, it just. <laughs> There's so many of these sequences where I just think they're gonna get together and just start making out and just, I don't know, just say fuck all or something, I don't know. You'll need meat, carrots, potatoes, opinions, uh, onions, oh, I said <laughs> I meant to say onions, onions! Shop everything up and boil in a pot. Uh, okay. You have nothing to cut? You have nothing more to cut. You don't have all the ingredients prepared. Oh yeah, and the carrots are outside here. How nice that our parents had all these fresh ingredients. All while we languished in our apartment. Really makes one appreciate just how much they love us. Come on, we'll get ours. We just have to figure out how to go about this. Now that she's seen us, leave no witnesses. Let's not jump to that just yet. I fucking knew it. I don't think he wants to kill his mom. But like, I understand. Please, just let me think. I'll figure out something, alright? And by the way, he's the one that's doing all the killing. Like, Ashley literally hasn't touched a soul yet, so I don't know why she's acting like this. You get the feeling she has something more to say, but you can tell whatever it is, it's going to start an argument. So you leave it for now? Yeah, no. It's always the freaking Ashley starting an argument. And got onions. <sighs> I feel bad for Andrew though, to be honest with you. Cause like, I don't think he wants to kill his mom, man. Just curious, did you use the cultist cle cleaver to cut all the ingredients? Yes, why? I hope you washed it first. I've kept it clean, obviously. Anyway, that should be all the ingredients. You throw the ingredients in the pot and wait. Oh yeah, because they can't put their DNA um, in certain places. They're keeping their tracks clean. Alright, you can't take this anymore. Ashley, I can tell something is up. Spit it out. I have something to tell you. But first you have to promise me you'll agree. I will absolutely not promise that. Okay, then never mind. Stop being annoying. What is it? Ugh, you're going to be such a bitch about it. I really wanted you to come to this conclusion by yourself. But since you won't, let me spell it out for you. We have to kill mom and dad. <sighs> no, no, none of that. I actually need their souls to recharge the clairvoyance dream thingy. Do you really, or are you just saying that? Huh? Pretty fucking interesting that you'd be, that you'd mention this now of all times. I did try to tell you before, but you blew me off. And again, I was hoping you'd come around on your own. Shame on me for expecting anything from you. Let me think about it. What's there to think about? Hey kids, it's good to see you. Says dad with all the enthusiasm of a dead fish. One extremely tiresome dinner later. Phew, that was a riveting conversation. What did we talk about again? Anyway, I'm sorry kids, I'm exhausted from work. I'm heading straight to bed. Could you two clean up? She leaves without waiting for an answer. 
I like how Ashley just looks sad automatically. Picked up dishes. Um, it can't be done. The dishes, the robbing, or the killing. Robbing nor killing. The more I think about it, the less doable this is. It takes one report to the authorities to put us on their radar. And if anything happens to our parents, who do you reckon are the prime suspects? Well, surely not their two dead kids. Yeah, because they're already on a death certificate, right? Like, or what? But were those documents even official? Well, even then, surely the poor grave siblings perished in the fire. Trust me, it only takes one person to start digging into it. And suddenly we've only alerted them we're alive, but also revealed our recent whereabouts? We're better off mugging random strangers who have no connection to us. And what makes you so sure this bitch won't snitch on us anyway? Seems to me she already sold us off once before. I mean, assuming she believed me earlier, there'd be no reason for her to do anything. No, fuck! No, it's doing it again! Oh my god. <sighs> <sighs> Dude, I... Like, I want to play this game, but I don't know why that keeps happening. I really don't know what's what's going on with that. But when you push, when push comes to shove, you stick to your head in the sand. Well, since you think everything is all good, why not stay here and play Happy Family some more? Bet you like that, huh? You seem to get along so nice. You know, I'm only keeping up appearances, right? And so is she. Felt to me it was the same as ever. Ashley, are you kidding me? So she was like, so basically she's saying that she's keeping a face or something like that. Like she's being really fake right now. Listen, I chose you, didn't I? I chose you. So if anyone is playing happy family here, it's you and me. Oh yeah. Like he's not, he's always not choosing her. It's the same situation like the last game. It's you and me. So you're saying you're not happy? Not that I didn't know that already. Fuck off with that. That's not what I said. If you keep your he if you keep your end of the agreement, everything would be just peachy. I've been behaving. No, you haven't. But that's not the what I'm talking about anyway. I agreed to behave, and you agreed. It's just us now. Funny because I remember agreeing to bury Andy and Lele. That is funny. I think you're misremembering. I'm not because it's only reason I'm here in the first place. Then you must have misunderstood me. Ayo? Hey, what? If you don't like it, why don't you stay here with mommy and daddy and be a good little murder boy? Why don't you leave me to rot? Clearly you don't even like me. You're the one who doesn't like me. It's all about Andy with you. Well guess what? Andy is dead. You're right. I really don't like Andrew. I'm sorry to hear that. Because Andrew is all you got. And now isn't the time for this anyway. Let's just leave. I'll figure out what we'll do about the money and the trinket. If we're leaving anyway with the trinket charge, we at least have the means to say save. I get that, but if we leave quietly, there'd be no need for anyone to look for us. Oh shit, the mom! Andrew, I do hey, yo, why is his hand up there? Bro! You're so <laughs> Nah, nah, there- The mom <laughs> is pissed, dude. Andrew, I don't believe for a second that woman can keep her mouth shut without being dead. <clears throat> What are you two whispering about? Nothing. Did you need something? Just like peas in a pod. I don't suppose you've got any friends you could go stay with. Oh. There isn't enough space in this house, despite it being far larger than the last one. And you're both already in the in your twenties? Oh, they're in their they're in their twenties? I thought they were ki oh. oh! 
Okay, well that confirms their age then. I was just like, wait, how old are they? I don't know how else to say it. No, 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 it's... Yeah, we're not fucking plan planning on living here. Thanks for the invitation, though. It's not like you're unwelcome to visit. There's just no room to keep housing you infinitely. If the infinitely? Yeah, I get it. But since you're already here, I guess one night won't be a problem. But you need to start looking for somewhere else to stay first thing in the morning. And it should probably be two separate places. Are they... Are they confirming it? I, I like, I don't know what the fuck's going on right now. <laughs> what are they doing? Are they confirming this? Like, I'm just, I'm just trying to get in the same boat here. Like, am I seeing things? Like, what, what, what's happening right now? And why is the mom saying that of all people? Have they always had this type of relationship? I don't know what's happening because the first game, everyone was telling me, Blake, it's not, it's not, it's not, um, wrong to do things with your sister subtitles, uh, this 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 and that stuff like it's not alluding to what you're thinking of but like it's just dude they make they do it and i i don't know bro i don't know it, maybe i'm going crazy i think i'm going fucking nuts dude because <laughs> i don't know what's happening oh my goodness bro oh my lord that's a tall order after all our earthly possessions just burn to the ground it's amazing what money can buy once you have a job. Speaking of which, I have a morning shift tomorrow. There's a spare bed in the basement. Andrew, you can take the couch. Alright, good night. Good night. Well, are you going to bed? I'm not that tired yet, so... You are under my roof right now and you will go to your designated sleeping areas immediately. Uh... Sleep now or get out at <laughs> Oh shit, she's back to mom mode. You pretend to go to bed until your parents fall asleep. Oh yeah, she she knows, dude. She knows. I feel like she 100% knows what's going on in this sibling relationship thing. You pretend to go to sleep. You pretend to go to bed until your parents fall asleep. Going to sleep is the worst. During the day, all the noise... And Ashley's never-ending bullshit keeps your mind occupied. I thought they were just kids during this situation, but I guess they're they're all in their 20s or something. But at night, alone with your thoughts, there's nothing to distract you from yourself. Despite having every intention of going to pick a fight with Ashley, you drift off to sleep. Oh shit, I'm in this dream state thing now. This freezer isn't full of human meat. Greetings, neighbor. Also, hath thou arrived to borrow sweet grand lose of sugar? Behold, as thou may witness, not but flesh doth I possess to present unto thee. All ghosts are apparently required to speak like this. Yes, even recently passed ones. You read too much poetry. But alert, young Mr. Graves. It's time for you to compartmentalize. Wait, are they asking me to? Wait, is there a puzzle thing around here? Got a limb? Oh, that's what we're doing. The pan is empty? Oh, right, Ashley already cooked one. The candle holder is empty. The door has no handle, nor will it budge. What are you doing here? I... Actually, no, don't answer, I don't care. Get lost. You're not supposed to exist anymore. Says who? You? You're not the boss of me, Andy. Forget this. <laughs> it's just like, I'm just gonna take you with me. Stop following me, you little shit. Oh, okay. I guess he's, he's following him. <laughs> oh. What? 
Oh, it sure is dark that way. Good thing I have these candles. Gray, hand them over. Ha, <laughs> no way. May I have one of the candles, please? Nope. What, and why is that? Because I only have so many left. And if my lemon muffin has no candles, I can't pretend it's a cake anymore. Just eat it then. That way you can pretend you ate the cake and won't need the candles anymore. It's too precious to eat. God, you're such a tool today. Okay, whatever. There's nothing to light. I mean, can we just kill her? I don't know. It's just a thought. Oh, let me get that. Literally places a candle on the candle holder. Nothing happens. You're welcome. What? Are you serious? Nothing happens? Oh my god. There is nothing to light. Bro. You used your lighter to light the candle. Um. Okay. Um. Um. Why is this design so weird? Oh wait, the candle. Who the hell? Andrew, Julia. You've been quiet all day, what's up? No, it's, it's nothing. Or actually, I've been thinking about something a lot lately. But I don't know if I should bring it up. With that much uh, build up, you kind of have to now. <laughs> well, okay, but please don't get mad. When I have, when have I ever once even raised my voice with her? You know, you can tell me anything. I uh, talked to my sister about what you said the other day, and she agrees with me that maybe it's like maybe it'd be better for Ashley to learn some independence, even if it's just for her own sake, you know. I feel like Andrew's gonna agree with this to an extent, and maybe for our sake too. I think it'd just be nice if you could stay over more often, and not like always cut things short or cancel on me so much. Sorry, I'm not r reprimanding you. I can't make her lean. I can't make her learn anything though. No, no, but you could like you know not always go when she asks. If your sister needed something, wouldn't you go? Well, yes, but she only asks if she actually needs something. I suppose. Sorry, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Or brought this up after all. No, no, it's fine. I guess I'm still shook up over what happened to your friend way back then. But way back when? Ashley might not look like it, but I think it affected her a lot too. So that's probably why she is how she is. I really don't get the I really don't get that impression at all. For some for someone who's obnoxious, she's surprisingly difficult to read, isn't she? Mother, mother. She's difficult in general. Sorry, I didn't catch that. No, nothing. Go on. Anyway, I worry about something like that happening to her. Or happening to you. No, 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 no. Fuck. It did it again. No, wait. Stop. Stop. God damn it. It did it again. I don't know why this keeps happening. Like, literally, I don't know. I don't understand this shit. Like, that, that's happened again. The same thing. I don't. Should I just play it? Cropped up. Would you tie your hair up for me? Uh, heck no. You'll pull on it again. Ha <laughs> uh, But don't you know it's how boys show their love? Well, that's just awful. I suppose she still lingers. It hasn't been that long. I just kind of forgot about her with all the chaos going on. She's gonna. She's not gonna take you back, you know. When did I ask you? Wow, what a little shit she is. So I'm guessing Ashley has something to do with, you know, me not talking to Julia again. I'm assuming. Damn, death threats. From who, Ashley? Because he was messing with another girl. Look, I don't know what your fucking problem is. 
the audio has been distorted, but you'd recognize that voice anywhere. I told you to fuck off. I warned you. Ashley! Do you think you're all that? Do you think you're somehow special? You're just another hole, and you're not even the only one. He's got a slew of losers just like you. Enjoy what you have, because you're well on your way out by now? Larissa, feel sorry for you. You're the dead best friend. Hurry up and kill yourself. When you go, you when oh my god, dude, it was fucking Ashley doing this shit, bro. Bro, what the hell? Nah, bro, Ashley's a freaking op. And when you get the hell, ask your friend what happened to her. Haha, <laughs> bet you'd be, haha, <laughs> you'd be so surprised. Fucking die, you worthless piece of shit, slug, go slit your wrist, some- Oh my god, and this time, do it proper- Oh my goodness! Do you think you're better than me? Just because you can fuck him and I can't? You think that's love? Are you fucking delusional? Okay, so... No, it's real. The incest is real. Okay, this- this is a real thing. I'm gonna just say it right now. I don't care if anybody tries to talk this out of it, or backtracks this shit. This shit's fucking real. This is real. I- Wow, I did not think they were gonna go through this route. Like, I thought the whole incest thing was a joke. They are not fucking playing around with this. You think that's love? Are you fucking delusional? Come dumpsters, like you are just that? He will never love you? Not like he loves me? I am the only one. I am everything. I am the secrets you'll never hear. When he lies in bed at night and when he needs someone to hold on to, it's not you he seeks out. It is me. Wow, dude, this girl's a little asshole. That's enough of that. Yeah, no, that's... A collection of photos and notes your girlfriend cherishes or your ex-girlfriend used to cherish, you're pretty sure you wouldn't be up there anymore. Jesus Christ, dude. So what do you want to play today? Nothing, go to bed. Boring. I don't care, go to sleep. And never wake up again. I don't want to sleep. I want to draw. Draw then, just don't leave this spot. I can't draw without my coloring pencils. <sighs> well if I- No, 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 stop, stop! Why the fuck is it doing all that for- Dude, this game's about to piss me off. I'm trying to play this game, but they keep doing this to me. Why? There needs to be an update, dude. I hate when this. When I, I hate when I ever play this fucking game. They always do that speed through shit, bro, and I can't fix it. Get some color pencils. I'm just say f it and whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's, it is what it is. Yes, thank you. What should I draw? I wouldn't want to hinder your artistic genius with my bad ideas. Hmm. Good call. Well, whatever. As a thank you, I'll give you a candle. Treat it carefully, as if it were me. I'm lighting it on fire. Not cool. That's flames for you. <laughs> Bill, you suck. Got a candle. Alright, so now I can, like, go over here and actually do my thing. Place didn't lit the candle. That actually took a while. Oh! Shit, um, Ashley would have wanted to kill this one anyway. You couldn't leave any witnesses after all. Still, you can't comprehend why there hasn't been even a mention of her on the news. Surely someone found her before the fire burned the apartment down. Is there any investigation going on? Can this be linked back to you? Other than that, it doesn't bother you. This one had to get bef had to get before he got you. It worries you someone wanted you dead badly enough to hire this guy. You killed this one to protect Ashley. No regrets. Back when he back back when he and his buddy still fed you, this one was always leering at her. Never mind, this one regret. You wish you could have killed them slower? Damn. <laughs> That's crazy. Found Ashley in the closet. There you are, you menace. Ta-da! 
I missed. No, no, stop, 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 stop. God damn it. It's in your stomach, right? And mine? Are you going to cut me to get it? Wait, do I have. Is it like. I need to, like, not use my controller or something? Like, what the hell is happening? I'd rather not. What do you need it for anyway? There's plenty of limbs right behind you. Will met young graves. What the fuck? I am so confused. Bro! Got a limb? Those thou reckon that my mortal frame was consumed by the flames. For those I do not. Methinks the inners of a freezer doof not combust. Perhaps it may cook but to burn and now it's not verily the most foolish deed thou hast ever committed was to leave my own remains in thine own dwelling praise the heavens that some soul sought to protect themselves and kindled a flame which engulfed all is this the ending like it might placed all severed limbs in the freezer this reminds you of something. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh god. Rise and shine, Nina. Did you have a fun night? I sure hope you learned your lesson. There is no answer. Huh? Guess she's still sleeping. Oh, she's dead. Lele kicks the crate. Wake up, sleepyhead. Come on, don't. You open the crate. Oh, oops. Wait, wait, what? Why is she dead? How did- Wait, she died?! Nah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe the mom is up to something. Maybe she's like, look, your sister is a bad influence on you. I'm definitely seeing it right now. This bitch is crazy. What? That can't be, right? What is going on? Wait, wait, wait. I thought she was alive. Whatever. If you're so weak that you die just like that, then clearly nature doesn't want you to live. Shut up. Just shut up. Forget this. Let's just leave her here. Dude, wait, I'm- Wait, I'm confused. I thought she was alive! Huh? Since you took the stick off, it looks like she went there on her own anyway. No, it doesn't. Why would she have clawed at the crate until her fingernails split if she was there willingly? Oh well. It's not like anyone knows she's here. Let's just leave her. It'll start rot- no, she'll- it'll start rotting? And- and someone will come looking and find her. I mean, her family was already looking for her. It's only a matter of time until they come check here. So what do we do then? Um, I- F Fuck. Let's just hide it then. Huh? Well, uh huh? If no one knows, then it's not a problem. They're gonna know, Lele. They'll find the body and they'll know. And then they'll throw me in prison for the rest of my life. Me too, it's fine. If it's the both of us, dude. Nah, she's crazy, dude. Nah, she's 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 crazy. This this she is crazy. She is actually borderline insane. I th I Either I'm reading this wrong, or this game has took a complete fucking turn. I mean, it was always best up from the beginning, but like, this is just... Holy shit, they are not kidding. This shit is dark as hell. No, no, you fucking idiot. You don't get it, do you? Get no, no, stop, stop, stop. How was I supposed to know that? You figured something out. I, I'm, I'm gonna assume he was talking about going to prison. Okay, so for anybody that's wondering why that's happening, it's not me, it's the freaking game. Okay, I, I'm not doing that, it's the game. It, 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 I don't know how to stop it or how to control it. 
you figure something out, then since you're so smart. Okay, okay, let's just, uh, like move her somewhere. Yes, a grave. Let's dig a big grave for her. Alright, where? Anywhere in the forest should be fine. I mean, there's a park right outside. Yeah, there is probably fine. But first we need to wrap her up in something. Because no one can see us carry her there. Morbid courtesy, morbid curiosity compels you to take a better look. Instant regret. Jesus Christ, dude. This will have to do. Got a tarp. You wrap Nita's corpse inside the tarp and carry her away. Wow. I couldn't find a shovel, but I figured those wooden planks work too. I mean, they're kind of shovely. Just watch for splinters. Splinters are the least of my worries right now. Let's pick a good, easy to dig spot. Got a wooden plank. Nah, these kids are fucking evil, dude. I, I mean, it, I mean, I would just think it's just Ashley to be honest with you. Ashley is just fucking nuts. May, maybe here, there doesn't seem to be any roots in the way. Dude, this is borderline nuts. I'm tired. Dude, you're tired, bitch. You're gonna be worried about going to jail and prison. Yes, this is way harder than I thought it would be. Isn't this deep enough already? A grave should be six feet, right? Okay, I will say this. The one thing I hope they fix about this freaking game is the freaking bug speed uh, chats. I really hope they fix that because I swear to God, maybe it's me, but I don't know. Like, I don't know how to fix that because that literally goes on on its own. Or maybe because I'm playing on a controller, I don't know. Maybe that might fix the problem or something. I don't, I don't know, but yeah, I hope that gets fixed or something. Maybe I need to stop playing on a controller or something. I don't, I don't know. A grave should be six feet, right? Forget it. She fits here just fine. I okay. <sighs> you and Lily pushed a body into its grave. Oh God. Crap, this doesn't look natural at all. Yeah, it's not even like six feet, I bet, because it looks fine to me. No, there can't be this. There can't be this. This obvious of a spot, it needs to be hidden too. Want to hide it with some leaves and such? I don't know, more dirt would be great. Got foliage. Right. Oh, are we picking this stuff up? Some more foliage is needed. Um, oh yeah, this looks so much better, huh? Also, this is all getting blown away by the next fruit breeze. <laughs> There's gotta be something in here to hold them in place. I mean... Got stone. What? Okay, this this okay. Now this doesn't look natural at all. Nice. Makes me want to write her. No, no, stop, stop, stop. Uh, damn it! It keeps doing that, bro. I don't know how to fix this. Uh, what is it now? She's hidden. What if they find her? What if a police dog digs her up? Listen, forget it. I can't. Of course you can. Did you know? That if you don't think about something for a really long time, it's like never happened. Okay, I think, I think, I, I get a good idea of what they're talking about though. You know, he's worried about going to prison and jail. And this bitch just doesn't care. Because you can't remember it anymore. Let's forget all about it. Lele, I need to know you won't say anything to anyone. Promise me this stays between us. I just said we'll forget all about it. You say one thing and do another. Promise me that this time you'll, honest to God, keep your mouth shut. I promise. I won't say anything. Hell, I'll never even say her name again. What was it again, anyway? I don't remember anymore. <sighs> there, there. It'll be fine. Just kidding. I'm gonna tell on you. Why is she like this? 
If you won't do what I say, I'll tell everyone all about what you did. Why is she like? What is her deal? Oh my god! I don't. What is wrong with this woman? Who's going to play with you if I'm in jail? I'll send you letters. I can't read your crappy handwriting. Guess you'll just have to do what I say then. Otherwise, you'll be all alone in prison. <sighs> I am your best friend from now on. It seems like you're more than that, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie to you. You already were, Lele. Don't lie to me. What the? Dude. <laughs> bitch. She's crazy. This bitch is crazy. I'm not, I think. Whatever. It's you and me now. No one else will like you. Because you're bad. You're a bad person, Andy. But I won't tell anyone. Of course not. You'd be in trouble too. So what? No one likes me anyway. But that's fine. Because you'll be around now. God, you stupid, stupid girl. I've been here this whole time. None of this needed to happen. You could have just... I know you don't like me. Oh my god, dude. I don't... I don't understand what he can do to make this any better. I just, I don't get it. I don't understand. I feel bad for Andrew, dude. I really, I honestly have a real soft spot for this man. Cause like this, he is with the crazy lunatic fucking bitch. This, this, this is nuts. She's a goddamn nutcase. This is insane. Like, this is actually genuinely crazy. Like, she is nuts, bro. She's a terrible influence on Andrew. Andy, I know. But that doesn't matter anymore because from now on, no one will like you either. So let's always be friends, okay? She, they need to leave this bitch to dry. Ashley needs to go, bro. She needs to absolutely just go. She is fucking nuts, man. Be my friend or else. <sighs> I'll be whatever you want me to be. Really? Oh my god. Dude, she is nuts! Then from now on, let's always be together. You had a million things you wanted to say to this creature, none of which were pleasant. But absolutely nothing came out of your mouth. Several days went by without a hitch. Can I eat your ice cream? Why are you coming to my room? Like, oh wait, we share the same room. Never mind. Go for it. Huh? Really? I can't seem to eat anything lately. Nom nom nom. Why do they have to put this jam thing in strawberry ice cream? It's gross. I wish there was no jam. You wish you had the capacity to care. Has anyone asked you anything about things? Yeah, my teacher asked everyone in class. Some officers came by too. And did you say anything? Nope, I only asked Julia if she was expected to see anyone the other day. Why? You know, because a certain someone told her mom she went to study with Julia. So I thought maybe she told Julia she was going to come see you instead. Well, did she? I don't know, because I didn't want to just come out and ask... But Julia says she was visiting family that day, so I doubt she had any idea. You promise, your promises mean fucking nothing? Huh? Why are you being so cold to me? You're worse than you were before, jackass. I give you my ice cream, yet I'm a jackass? Oh, uh, wait. I see how it is. You're still pinning for that bitch. Oh my god. She's insane! Here we fucking go again. Dude, how is this happening? Dude, Andrew, you sh you should have just left, bro. This, <laughs> nah, bro. The mom, I think the mom was right on separating them. They need to be separated because this is like, this is insane. This is just borderline fucked. I I thought this game could have get any worse, but this exceeds my expectations. This is insane. She's dead, yet you're still all about her, aren't you, dude? Oh my God. What is wrong with her? It never, it's, it, it is never good enough. What a snake. I bet she died on purpose. 
<gasps> Lady! You literally kept her inside! Bro! What do you mean? I need a knife. Huh? Where are you going? He's gonna kill your little ass, you little shit. You pick a knife from the sink and give it a quick wash. Got a kitchen knife. Are we gonna kill her? What are you doing with that knife? Briefly, you wonder if killing her would be worth it. I'm going to make a blood oath with you. But in return, you'll have to promise me something too. Uh, okay. Keep my secret, and I'll keep you company. And what if I don't? Yes. Haha, <laughs> you're all bark. You wouldn't do anything. If you'll ruin my life anyway, what reason is there for me to keep up appearances? Moreover, I'm doing this for you. Then what happens if you break the promise? I won't. If you won't. I'm not buying that. Lele, you're a miserable, loathsome being that has wormed its way into every aspect of my life. And for that, my heart will always have a rotten, moldy, sore spot just for you. Make of that what you will. I mean, I'll take it, but sheesh. Ah, gently, you asshole! How does one cut someone gently? A better man would know. Whatever. And thus she forever keeps her mouth shut. Only as long as you keep your eyes closed. Hmm. Let no hussy steal your gaze. It's just us now. I say I'd be around. I never said there wouldn't be others. Huh? Wait, no. I want a do-over. <laughs> Too late. A promise is a promise. Andy, that's not fair. Ah, don't be like that. I'll make you a priority, just not the only. It's not enough. Why can't you just... Oh my god, dude. Yeah, okay. See, this is my problem. People keep saying there's no incest, but there is something definitely going on with this shit, dude. You cannot tell me that there's no fucking incest in this shit. There is... Dude, what the... Oh my goodness, bro. There's no way. Because, bro, the last comments of my last video, bro, people were like, nah, it's not like that. Dude, what is this? And then we had him grabbing his sister's ass? Did you, what? bro, bro, <laughs> I can't do this, man. Why can't you just, bro, kill your parents? Bro, D, Andrew, you need to get away from this girl. It, this this should have been happening a long time ago. Man, if I had a sister like this, I would have wanted adoption. I ain't gonna lie to you. I would have told my parents what she was like. I I would snitch automatically. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, she's crazy. Hold on. That's not what she said back then. Do it for your little sister. I know you want to. Kill them to solve all your problems? Kill them to feel something? Kill them for food? Kill them to avoid the things I'll do to you if you don't? What is that supposed to mean? Is she on the- are they on the couch? Oh, he woke up. Look who's awake. Good morning. Or night. It's still nighttime. What do you want, you little creep? To offer mom and dad to the demon. Right now? Right now, while they're asleep? We'll set the ritual up and do it. I've given you plenty enough time to figure this out, yet you haven't. So now we're doing it my way. <sighs> okay. Oh my, my efforts were far more effective than I thought. Welcome back, Andy. Oh shit, that's what that is. It's, um, it's because at your core, you're just a soft, gooey marshmallow. If it weren't for me, all kinds of vile women would have gobbled you up already. Chomp. Oh my god. Yeah, no, there, there's no there's no way people are not- oh, Come on now. Huh, what are you doing? A demonstration? God, you're so fucking dumb I should- Hey yo, um, uh, Andrew, are you still awake? Oh shit, um, we, um, 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 oh no, they, um, oh god, no. Yeah. 
Are you still up? I thought you had to work tomorrow. I wanted to talk to you with that without Ashley. No, stop, 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 stop. Okay, I need to like. I think it's my controller. That's all right. I don't really need to know. I'm really tired. Andrew, I understand if you're angry, but at least listen. The whole situation with Ashley was. Oh. Oh, go on, Mom. Don't mind little old me. Yeah, nah. I think. I think the mom had a good idea of, like, not wanting Ashley around Andrew. Because he, like, he can't, like. I don't know. He, it's like he can't get rid of her or something. It's like he can't live without her or whatever. Or, like, she can't live without him. But, yeah, no. They. They need to. <sighs> But my question is, is that why did he have them living together at, at one point? Like, I don't, I don't understand. Or like have them quarantine. I, I just, like, was there, was the virus even really, I mean, I, I know the quarantine was a real thing, but it's like, it just seemed like the, cause apparently from the first episode we were at, it seemed like a harvesting organ area, like, or some shit like that. And I don't know. It just seemed like they weren't good enough. So they were just left there to die. So I just don't understand, like, I'm so confused how this works. And also, I, 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 I'm I tired of this game speeding through the fucking dialogue bug. Like, I want to read, the, I want to play the experience, like, damn. For the love of God, this had better not be what it looks like. Haha, <laughs> whatever. How does this look to you? Where do you get... What's it looking like now, Mom? Ashley, come on! You know that there aren't any bullets left in that gun. But your mom sure doesn't. Ashley, put that away. There's no need for this. Be quiet and start walking. We're going to do the ba we're going to the basement and don't get any funny ideas because I will shoot. Andrew, go get a rope or something. I'm trying I'm, I'm tying this bitch up and don't kill dad. You did not need to be told that. <sighs> Quit the heavy sleeper, this one. There's some rope in the closet along with other equipment. I wonder if this is fine. As you untangle the rope from everything else. Ah, shit. Nice one, Butterfingers. Son? What on earth are you doing? Uh, sorry, I needed to, uh, there is absolutely no ex explanation as to why you're rummaging through their sex toys. Oh, that's what that was? Oh my god. I knew, I had an idea, but like, bro, they, may, maybe this entire family is just weird as hell. I don't know, but like, god damn, bro. <laughs> oh. God, Jesus, and the truth, I want to tie mom up doesn't sound any better. Oh my God, that's that actually would be worse. I want to fuck myself. <laughs> so much. This experience is so painful. Bro, if this game is just, if this episode is just as bad as the other one, Jesus Christ, all that's mighty. I don't even want to know what episode 3 and 4 is like. Good holy God of all that's holy. Jesus, this is like, this is fucking nuts. Oh yeah, that'll do. Where's your mother? She went to get something from the basement. Actually, I think she could use some help. Confused your father goes to check up on your mother. Got rope? Maybe you should hang yourself with it. Sounds like a good idea. Honey, is everything all right? You take out your cleaver. What is going on? Andrew, we weren't you supposed to be masturbating? <laughs> what? Bro, what do you mean? <laughs> Just walk down. God damn it, dude, this game. Slow and steady. You tie your father up with the rope. You can't help but notice some old rope burns on his wrist. Better not dwell on it as you rather not visualize how they came to be. Oh my god, dude, this family, bro. They're all messed up. 
Andrew? I'm just checking if she has something on her. Well, does she? No. Don't move. Don't scream. I will shoot. Why are you doing this? Don't talk either. Just shut up and wait. What am I doing right now? A metal full of screwdrivers? Unlike the toilet upstairs, this is the one actually works. What the hell? The floor drain seems a little clogged up, but it's not your problem. Christmas stuff, mostly candles. Got Christmas lights. You tied your mom up using Christmas lights? Are you serious? So this is what your life has come to. Oh my god, we're tying up our parents? Alright, good, good. Now, do you remember how to reform the... Hold up. Mom, what's the pin for your credit card? Is it... Is that what this is about? Money? You go this far just for a quick buck? What's the pin? Where's the card itself? It's in my purse. She tells you to pin and you scribble it down on a note. Okay, then I'm gonna go and try this now. Ashley, you stay here and don't do anything. That depends on them. If she gave me the wrong pin and you end them, then what? Again, it depends on if they behave or not. <sighs> Alright. I'll be quick. I'm can Okay. <sighs> credit card. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing here? Get back downstairs. They're not going to try anything. It only takes one of, the, one of them to start screaming for this whole thing to blow up in our faces. It is amazing how cooperative a person is with a gun pointed at them. Yeah, so go point it. I'll be right back. It's just... Come on. Out with it. I need to get going. You're with me on this, right? Sacrificing them? Didn't I already say so? Well, you have this habit of flipping flop, flip flopping. Okay, to be fair, this is his fucking parents. All right, like I'm not gonna lie. If my sister told me to sacrifice my parents, I would be a little bit stuck on it as well. Like I would be a little bit just a little bit off. Lay, fuck. <laughs> Look, just trust me, Ashley. We're doing this. You're the best. Come back soon. Oh my god, dude. This this this, this family's terrible. This No, actually no fuck that scratch. It's it's fuck it's the fucking sister, bro. The sister's just bad. Then again, the whole family's just kinda weird. Like they're all like freaking just Ugh. Oh my lord. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. You're Ashley. Okay, so we're finally here. While Andrew is busy picking up the money, you decide to set up the ritual, or at least what you remember of it. Let's see, I think it involves blood candles, cannibalism, ruins, candles, and blood, music, runes, and a book. But we don't have a book, do we? I do some on the floor using the warden's blood. I also set up some candles, and there was a big magic circle already drawn. I think that was drawn with blood too. You nod to yourself confident and pleased with your memory? Yeah, something like that. It shouldn't be too hard to do. First things first, I need some blood to draw with. Oh god. Two human shaped sacks of blood sit on the floor, but you have nothing to cut them with? Oh my god, no way. Our parents? Oh my god. Oh, I don't want to do this. No. Alrighty, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to cut one of you to draw some blood. And if you scream, I'll blow both your brains out. How about that? Just take the money and go. What do you need our blood for? Oh, so now you care what I'm about? Don't you fucking act like I haven't tried with you, Ashley. You're the one who shut me out. But even then, I've stuck my neck out for you all this time. Oh, like that time when you left me to starve for three months? Was that you looking out for me? Ah, oh, geez, thanks. You know goddamn well what I'm talking about. I never told anyone what you two little psychos did to that girl. Oh shit, so she knows. Wait, but how does she know? She wasn't even there. So that's why she left them. Cause they're fucking nuts. 
I mean, the thing, okay, the thing is with Andrew, I like, Andrew didn't even want to do that. Like, Andrew was a, I, I wouldn't say a victim, but like, he was, can I say a victim? Because he didn't really know what was going to happen. I mean, I don't know, bro. He was manipulated. I'm going to just say that right now. So I, I was, I would technically call him a victim. I don't know, dude. This, this whole thing is fucked up. I never told anyone about what you two, those psychos did to that girl. Uh, what are you on about? Take your meds. I know you and Andrew did something to that classmate of yours who went missing. I knew it the second she was found dead near that warehouse you used to play at. <laughs> Whatever. If I didn't love you, I could have rid myself of you right then and there. When it comes to being a mother, I am a fucking saint, Ashley. A saint! Ah, yes, the patron saint of covering one's own ass. Do you have any idea what they they would have done to you if they found out? Now then, you power engines of virtue, let's see whose blood I should use. Which one do you cut? Ah, honey, it's fine. Don't worry about me. Yeah, she wouldn't worry about you in return. That's crazy. Got blood. All right, let's see here. Yeah, something like that. Now let's finish drawing this masterpiece. Nah, this is actually crazy, I'm not gonna lie to you. Looky ma, I do a circle. Do you even know what a circle is? Because it's not like that. The nerve of you. You never... No, 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 don't let her get a rise out of you now. Candles, candles, candles. She's she's nuts, bro. She's just fucking crazy. This bitch isn't just a psychopath. Is this about candles? Do we even have candles? I don't remember if we had candles. Come on now, Andrew trusted you to keep an eye on your parents. Dish rag and blender. I'm trying to find these damn candles, but I can't find shit. Um. Hmm. Vinegar. Oh, got candles, okay. I think this is how it was, right? If I can remember. Alright, that's all the candles I had. Welcome back. Andrew, give us a hug. You have a draw limit on your card? I do? You do! I can only get a couple of hundred before it locked me out. Huh. Suck it, bitch. <laughs> Being insufferable runs in the family. <laughs> yeah, well guess what? Now we all get to witness the wonders of customer service. Get up. You have a call to make. Ashley, take her to the phone. You draw your gun. You're in luck as the customer service line just opened for the day. Yeah, somehow there's already a million hour wait. So guess what? You wait. No way they're actually waiting. There's <laughs> no way. This is insane. Please hold. A representative will be with you as soon as possible. Please hold. A representative will be with you as soon as possible. Please hold, a representative will be with you as soon as possible. roughly a quarter millennium later, mother gets a hold of a rep of someone? I'm sorry, let me just confirm. You said you want me to remove the draw limit altogether? That is what I said, yes. Wow, that's crazy. What if your card gets stolen? Indeed. I'm not all being held at gunpoint here. 
Ha 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 Damn. There we go. You're gold. Is there anything else I could help you with? Apparently not. Alright then. Have a nice day. <laughs> she was trying to get help. <laughs> now it's back into the basement with you. And don't think for a second I didn't see the stunt you were trying to pull there. It was just a small talk. The car should be free now. Unlike your mother, who Andrew quickly ties back up. I was looking at what you've set up here. And let's just say it's not quite there, is it? Ha, huh. yeah, I don't remember what the little runes looked like some and look like anymore. God, your memory is such shit. Though I already figured as much, so I s sketched them out for you. Why didn't you just draw the runes themselves? There's blood right there. Because you might have had a good reason for not drawing them yet. Alright, fair, whatever. Give me the card. I'll go pick up the rest of the money. I really don't like the idea of you wandering around all by yourself at this hour. It's already morning though. Well, yeah, but I mean still. Just hand me the card. I Actually, can I leave Andrew alone with mom and dad? Who knows what they'll say to him. And he's wishy-washy enough as it is. Ashley? You wonder if you can trust Andrew enough to leave him alone with your parents. Ooh, is this the other ending? Save game. You wonder if you can trust Andrew enough to leave him alone with your parents. <sighs> okay, what happens if we say fuck that? Forget it, this jackass doesn't exactly have a stellar record when it comes to watching over hostages. And I'm still not convinced he didn't try anything with the lady from three room 302. Dude, yeah, oh my god, never mind, you're right. I should stay. You go get the cash? Alright, good. <clears throat> Here for the candles. Got the lighter and the runes. Okay, so the runes are pentagram ten pentagrams, but you have to begin drawing them from the... I didn't pay attention to crap like that. Last time and everything worked just fine. True. Well, you're the expert here. Do what you will. Leave it to me. First, I need some more blood. This is ridiculous. I can't believe you brainwashed Andrew to play along to this. Brainwashed him? My ass. Who said you're allowed to talk anyway? No one cares what you think. Don't talk to your mother like that, young lady. Please? <laughs> He's terrified, dude. Again. Oh, wait. We get blood again? Oh, yeah. Wait. Isn't there supposed to be four? That's probably enough runes. Is it really? He's like, please don't talk to your mother that way, please. Well, everything is all set. It, it's clearly, it's clear who wears the pants in this relationship, though. Well, everything is all set except the music. But I really can't see how I'm going to arrange that. I'm back. Welcome, welcome. You're just in time. I'm about to summon. Ahem. Hello, hello, Mr. Miss Demon. I'm sorry, I don't have the moon music, but I have the other stuff you asked for. I don't think the music ever really mattered, right? There's no answer. Maybe if I say something, maybe if I sing something. Please don't. Because <laughs> mercifully, the demon shows up to spare everyone from the secondhand embarrassment. Oh shit, ah! It's her soul. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I offered those two. Their screaming is short-lived as the demon steals their souls. Huh, I wonder if I should feel something. Well anyway, so the music wasn't needed to summon you after all. I was about to say, I don't think the music's needed at all. Well, I have to play it last time then. The circle is hard to find. Sound is easy to follow. However, you have my talisman. Now it makes you easy to find. Speaking of which... A deal's a deal. Charge it up, please. Your trick it works again? Thank you. What? Hello? This is the brother? Yep, the one and only. He may not be very useful, nor is he particularly loyal, but... 
but nothing actually, honestly. I don't even know why I keep him around. What the fuck, dude? You literally... I just don't understand her, bro. What the fuck am I playing? What do you mean you don't know why you keep me around, you bitch? You wanted to... Bro, you want me... You want him and just... Oh, I'm, dude, I'm so lost, dude. You basically wanted to kill all his girlfriends, all his exes, all the women he was around. And you honestly are questioning why you're keeping me around. You fucking asshole. Like, actually... I see. Farewell, Tarsal. Until you have another soul to offer. Alright, thank you and bye-bye. The entity leaves? I don't know why I keep you around either. I don't know what to do you keep me around for. I'm certainly no pretty lady. You can't even fuck me. Understand? You've killed all my bro. You've killed my friend, and you just—I don't understand, dude. I am in so much pain. <laughs> oh my goodness, Christ, all this mighty. I am certainly a pretty lady. You can't even fuck me. <sighs> I'm just the woman you blame for everything, so you don't have to feel bad. Where is this coming from? Bet if I left you alone with our parents, you would have sided with them. This again? I already told you I'm with you on this. It isn't beyond you to lie. Oh, come on. I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry. I had to think about it. But shouldn't it be telling that even after I thought it through, I picked you? Aren't you picks me one day, then talks to someone else once, and it's to hell with me. That didn't happen. I picked you. What more do you want? I want you to feel secure in this relationship. <sighs> Bro, what's what's happening, man? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> what's happening? Bro, just tell me, bro. Are you gonna start fucking? <laughs> I, just, I don't. I don't know, bro. <laughs> uh, what do you mean secure? What do you mean by that? Like. Because you give me nothing, and then wonder why I can't trust you for shit. I... I don't know what to say. Well, then just think about it. What are we doing about the bodies? It just doesn't seem to matter what I say when you like- when you get like this. The bodies, Andy. Focus. Right, the bodies, uh... Well, one hand, we didn't kill them. But on the other hand, them having gone missing would definitely be better for us. Maybe they just fucked off somewhere, who knows. Meanwhile, if there's a murder investigation... Right, so let's make them disappear. Right, we can start by chopping them up. Can we just dump them in the ocean or something? No, actually, we're going to make them vanish, not wash up ashore somewhere. Oh, before I get... Uh, before I forget... Here, you can have this back. Return the lighter. Ah, <sighs> Jesus. Uh, how to go about this? We can't leave. <sighs> God damn it. <clears throat> uh, how to go about this? We can't leave a mess behind. Well, there's a drain right there. Ah, oh, right. You are. Andrew is untying the parents, but stops. Wait, uh, what? What is it? Is dad breathing? You take a look and sure enough, his chest is moving ever so slightly. Ah, he is! Mom too! You try various things, but nothing gets a response from your parents. Yet their hearts still beat, their lungs draw in air. Oh god, what is this? Maybe losing your soul is just turns you into a vegetable. That can't be. The cult has died, and the warden too. Well, I mean, did you actually check? Oh, shit. I sure didn't. I just went to town and started chopping. No, 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 no. Please tell me he wasn't still alive when we ate him. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> Bro, this bitch is evil. 
Oh my goodness, dude. I can't, dude. I can't. This fucking sister. She has to go. She just has to go. There's no fucking way. No. Oh my. What the fuck is so funny about this? It's, bro, it's my. Oh my god, dude. Come on now. I'm sure you died pretty quickly from blood loss. No. When you lose blood, you die slowly, you asshole. What do you mean? If not, you ripping his head off. You were ripping his head off. Must have done the trick. Oh my god, dude. It'll be the same with these two. Get to cutting. No, that this changes everything, doesn't it? You want to leave them like this? They're not getting their souls back. Though, if you want to leave them to starve, I'm all for it. Wouldn't it be a little poetic? I'm sure you'd like that. I don't know. I need to think. Oh, come on. Where are you going? I mean, this is our parents, dude. Like, how could you not care? No, Andrew, look. Look here for a sec. What? Oh! You get your father, too. What are you doing? They're all dead. Now tell me again how I always make you do all the dirty work. Oh! Oh my god! Will it bitch and moan? He'll bitch and moan. Surely he'll bitch and moan as per usual. But you did not miss that sigh of relief. Anyway, you drag your parents' soulless and lifeless bodies over to the show. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. This... This is crazy. This is just borderline insane. I just... Oh my god. This is like... Jesus Christ, dude. I, I don't even know. Alright, I'll start cutting. You guide the blood into the drain with the shower head. Gotcha. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. Stop. It's flooding. Huh? Oh, what the hell? Gross. Ugh, great. The drain is clogged. And the lid is screwed shut. I need a screwdriver. You just keep chopping the bodies. I'll get you something to unclog the drain with. Isn't it in here somewhere? The fucking toilet? How do you unclog this thing anyway? After we unscrew the lid, we can pour down some baking soda and vinegar down the drain. I'm going to need a screwdriver, some baking soda and vinegar. Okay. Got vinegar. Okay, where's the baking soda though? This mob is a work of weight. I'm going to need a screwdriver, baking soda, and vinegar. It's up here, but how do I even get it? You check the top cabinets? The baking soda? Oh. Okay, so, wow. I hope the dialogue that I missed from the game being bugged, I really hope it wasn't that important, because, like, I do like this, I do love playing this game, but every time this game comes out, there's always, like, this weird speeding bug thingy where it, like, speeds up the game. And I don't know if it's because I'm using my joystick or something like that, or something like that, but I, I don't know. And Andrew unscrews the drain lid, pouring some... Uh, vinegar. Wrong! The baking soda goes first. Whoa, who gives a shit? You pour down a generous amount of baking soda and then douse it with vinegar. The soda starts blobbing up, but the clog doesn't lessen one bit. Well, we tried. I'll get you some rubber gloves. I'm the one who's gonna have to get in there. But of course, I am but daintily little lady. You can't expect me to do a man's job. Fine, just get me the gloves. Oof, Jesus Christ. 
Here you go, have fun. Handed the Andrew the rubber gloves. He digs out God knows what out the drain. A seemingly never ending amount of God knows what. <laughs> oh God, that is disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna gag. You're not helping. Fuck, that is gross. Andy, ha 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 ha. Wow, of course you would. What an asshole. Andy doesn't respond anything to that. Heh, <laughs> good, good. Looks like he's finally coming around. Yeah, because you fucking verbally abused him, you asshole. Though there being no reaction at all is a little worrisome. The, drain's, the drain works. Let's get this over with. You and your brother dismember your parents and disembowel them. And de de decapitate them. Oh my god, what have fun. What fun? She's enjoying this. That's the thumbnail, actually. Actually, that's the that's actually the thumbnail. Oh my god, dude! Having regrets? Would I be allowed to say so if I did? Ah! Oh, of course, you can tell me anything. Oh my god, dude! Anything I want used against me, anyway. Heh. <laughs> I love you, Andy. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I'm sorry for lashing out earlier. I forgot how hard this is for you. I'm fine? No, you're not. Talk to me. Dude, what the fuck, man? I just... I've got nothing to say to you. Andrew continues to betraying your parents. And for the first time in forever, you have no idea what he's thinking. Which probably scares the shit out of her. So what's the plan for all this? We're to dispose of it all. Yeah, yeah, but how? We'll use whatever means available in the house. Let's look around and see what we can do. So most likely the kitchen, right? Oh, I know. Let's turn some of the meat into a soup. Throw in some vegetables, maybe some, maybe spices. Then throw the rest away as scraps. What do you mean the rest? What do you think? I'm eating some. Why? What do you? What do you? Do what you want? What? They don't have to eat like this. What was the soup you made earlier, and what were the ingredients again? The recipe is right there, read it. Shame on me for thinking you'd be helpful. It was meat, onions, potatoes, and, gra and carrots. Chop everything up and throw them into the pot. Ah, there we go, thank you. I knew you memorized it, you fucking nerd. You're welcome. Simple soup recipes, oh my god. Chop everything up and bring it home. Oh. Oh, bro. Dude, I don't want to do this. I, I think I'm going to barf, actually. Like, Jesus Christ, this is so... You cut the limbs into chopped meat. Got chopped meat. You skin the heads. Got the face got the skull. What do I do with their faces? Make a mask out of them? I don't know. Throw it, them in the fireplace. What about the skulls? Well, the skulls we can deal with later, along with all the other bones. You don't have all the ingredients prepared? Oh yeah, it was carrots and then onions or some shit. <laughs> That's pretty funny. We could go in there. Um, God damn it, dude. They cut the potatoes. So wait, what do we do at the fireplace? Oh, can we burn the bodies here? It would be like cremation. There's no way the temperature of this thing gets high enough. Boohoo, watch. You place the torsos have above the fireplace. Andrew rolls his eyes but lights the fire for you. 
Well, should you look at that? Well, will, will, will you look at that? Nothing is happening. Give it a minute, goddamn. This isn't working. Makes me kind of hungry, though. <sighs> Let's leave this be for now. You throw the faces into the fire, too. Oh my god, dude. This is fucking... This is fucked. Look at that. Much better than your soup. Now, was there anything else we still need needed to deal with? Wait, hold on. You pour your parents' organs in the blender and blend away. Several servings of chrisman smoothie emerge, all of which you pour down the kitchen sink. How's that? Good as gone? Great. Now deal with the rest of the body parts. The support from you today is just overwhelming, huh? Dude, we're killing our parents, bro. Like, what do you what do you expect of me to do? Do you think the soup is ready yet? I don't know, bro. Dinner is ready. I'm eating too. Of course, this is the last hearty home cooked meal for a while, after all. You're really not gonna have any. I honestly don't see the point. If you're hungry, there's other food available. Hmm, but don't you want to feel powerful? Explain? Well, uh, let me. Okay, so humans are at the top of the food chain, right? And then when I come and eat the humans, I'm on top of that. That's not really how that works, but whatever. Then this is your diet now. You sacrifice people and eat them for kicks. Ah, uh, you're not getting it. Let me try explaining it again. I don't need to get it. I just need to know if this is going to be a thing. I'm the one who's going to have to sort it out. It's like I, if I eat someone, I'm eating their entire life so far. Like everything they've known and felt, I'm consuming all of that. And if I could turn that into some sort of energy, I'd be all powerful. Does this power leave as you shit the corpses out? Haha, <laughs> no, no. This is just like absorbing nutrients. I get to keep the energy. If you say so. You're not getting it at all. Even if I could magically absorb someone else's life, what would I do with that? I have no desire at all to be our mother or father in any capacity. Well, those two I'm gonna shit out and flush down the toilet. Haha. <laughs> Ah, there, finally. Hehe, <laughs> nothing. Well, anyway, I think we've dealt with the flesh to the best of our ability. But we still need to do something about the bones. Well, first of all, I need to dish the leftover soup. While you do that, I'll clean the kitchen. <sighs> Jesus Christ, bro. Don't worry too much about someone seeing you throw away that- throw away the soup. As long as you don't look nervous, no one will think some anything of it. Are you talking to yourself right now? Hmm. Right, what was I thinking? You wouldn't even worry if I told you to. It should be fine, just chuck this into the trash bin outside, right? It's a trash bin outside? You threw away the leftover human soup? You are Andrew. I need to figure out what to do with all the bones. For now, I'll just collect them all before Ashley loses track of them. Got plastic bags. The flesh has burned into a cater cater uh, charcoal, but the bones remain. Got bones? You put them in one of the plastic bags. Simple soup recipe, meat, carrots, oh my god. Am I putting them outside or am I burying them? So what do we do about these skulls? I'm thinking of throwing those into the ocean along with the rest of the bones. So much for making them disappear, huh? What did we do 
all this for? What, what, did, what did we do all this other crap for? Quiet you, as long as the teeth are removed, they should be fine. Based on what logic? The dental records, I guess. You guess, how nice. I mean, that's a good reason. Dental records uh, would uh, catastrophe for that. Forgive me, oh beloved, for I have never gotten rid of a body before. I'm hoping one can identify someone based on their bones alone. Do bones float though? Aren't they kind of like sticks? I'll find something to weigh them down, just in case. Remove one of your parents' teeth using the screwdriver. Got a whole bunch of teeth. Got all the teeth. Now you've got to find a way to get rid of them. Mm hmm. You flush the teeth down the toilet. It takes a few tries for them all to flush. They're all gone. You wish you could do this all of your pro to do all your problems so we lose the teeth bag the bones with some rocks and call it a day got it i guess that's what we're gonna do then get some rocks in got some rocks you place them in one of the plastic bags all right <sighs> Finally, all that remains now is cleaning up the basement. Uh, do we have to? Yes, obviously. Why? We'll have to sacrifice someone again later anyway. Huh? Why would it have to be here? We're going to live here, right? We just have to keep paying our parents rent over or whatever. I wish we could, but eventually someone is going to go, Hey, Mrs. Graves hasn't showed up to work in a while. So they get fired, so what? Also, aren't they confirmed dead? Like, I thought that was a, a thing. Don't they have death certificates? Like, aren't... Okay, whatever. I doubt either their bosses will care enough to file a missing persons report. There's also the fact that they apparently mingled with the people here. The neighbors will notice them gone despite their name still being on the door. We can tell some lie, say we're house watching for our parents and so on. Listen, not everyone gives zero shits like you. They have co-workers, friends, other family besides us. <clears throat> what a bunch of whores. Why weren't they happy with just each other's? What are you- Not everyone's like us, bro. Or not like you. I didn't imply they fucked any of them. Oh my god, dude, this is so- I don't understand her logic of relationships. Like, her logic of, of, of a relationship is so diluted. Like, it's actually insane. Irrelevant. It's all the same. Anyway, they can't all go. Haven't heard from those two in a while. Oh well. Someone's gonna come looking with the authorities. And who will they find here? Their children who didn't report their parents missing? Officer asks, how the fuck aren't you dead yet? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> damn. If you don't want to stay here, just say so. It's not that I don't want to, it's, I just don't think we can. Well, can we at least use their IDs? We can be the new and improved Mrs. and Mr. Graves. That's not gonna work either, bro. We've run into the same problem with as with our own IDs. How is she 20 years old and not know this? So apparently they're in their 20s, so they're like adults. Which I didn't know that. I thought they were just fucking kids. So now we got that cleared. Once the authorities start looking for them, they'll see what we've been up to with theirs <sighs> sorry ashley i wish it was that easy whatever i'll clean the basement then <clears throat> you're ashley god damn it i really thought we were in the clear after all this ah oh, whatever i'm gonna need a mob got an excellent mob Should I put the candles back in the box too? Might as well. 
Also, I think there's another ending to this, because apparently we could, like, save them. Return all candles into the box. Seems like we did it. All done. Are we ready to go? I think so, though there's no way to tell if we missed something still. Other than maybe see if we have a dream where we where we're caught, I guess. I offer two souls, so it stands to reason I have at least two visions to come. How about I take a nap and see if a disaster awaits us? Please do. We're gonna go to the bed? Oh god. So, what are the conditions to get a vision? As in, what did the demon say about it exactly? Hell, if I remember. You don't? Ugh. Could you possibly give any less of a fuck? That'd be great. Oh, do forgive me, your highness. It's been a week or two. And of yours, you didn't even remember our parents' address. Which is of course just as important as this. Look, it just said that I needed to hold on to it after, after to ha hold on to it, have clairvoyant dreams, that's it. It was in my pocket the last time when it happened. Then could I hold it this time? Nope. Oh, come on. Even if you have a vision, you just freak out and overthink it. Your dumbass can barely understand what's happening in the present, much less in the future. If anyone should be deciphering what these dreams are about, it should be me. Screw you. No, I'm definitely not letting you have it. <laughs> Damn. Ugh, just fine. That was uncalled for. You're not getting my trinket. Fine, whatever. Have an awful night and terrible dreams. Andrew fucks off somewhere and you go to sleep. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Well, this looks familiar-ish. Is the demon summoning the again? It did say it would. Someone ha is at the door? Maybe I shouldn't stay here. Oh shit, there's nothing to step on? Oh shit. Oh shit. Um. Got an axe. Chop, chop, chop. What do you mean, chop, chop, chop? What? Like the axe is going to help you any good, any God knows what's on its way. Well, how the fuck? Wait, how do I? What do I do? Rose sign gets the axe. Oh shit! You probably shouldn't leave the path open for your pursuer. What do you mean? Um, do I just... Shit, what the... Chop the wood, does someone live nearby here? Then again, demons can teleport. But then again, do demons need firewood? Pressing questions, but let us not forget you are being pursued. Um... Ah, oh, fuck, dude. Kick Rose sign down the endless void. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is nuts, man. I'll take this. Oh wait. There's nothing to step on. Damn. Well, there goes that. And there's some more. That's nice. There was hidden behind the thing. Got a wooden plank. Alright. So I'm guessing this is just going to be a whole thing now, right? Okay.
There's nothing to step on. Um, did I mess up? It's locked. Whatever, I can see the key right there. Let me just find some more flowers. It appears you've gone and fucked yourself. Got a key? Hey, yo, what? Wait, what the hell? Tiny tree gets axed. Am I supposed to axe all these trees? I guess that's what I'm gonna do then. Okay. Um, I am definitely lost though. I got a key. I have a white key. So there's a lot of keys around here. But I'm kind of lost though. How many episodes? I mean, how many endings do they have in this one? Oh shit, wait, hold on. Um, oh yeah, our plank is gone now. Ah, it's just you. No way, something isn't... Um, I don't suppose we could talk things out. There, truce. Come on, Andy. Play nice with your sister. Tag, I'm it. Oh, hell no, nah, bro. You should run. Three. Two. No, crap, 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 crap. What do I, what do I? Wait, no, it's not my fault. This episode is titled. No, wait, wait, wait. Andy and Layla and. No, Andrew, wait. And the final finale. Finally. No, I'm sorry, okay? I'll be better. Let's just leave and forget about all this. Everything will be just fine. I'll behave, I promise. You've already shown me that's not true. I'm not falling for this again. No, 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 no. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Andrew. I'm sorry. I'm so tired of your sorries. Oh, shit. They don't mean shit. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. So Andrew ends up not taking it anymore. I mean... Shit, shit. No, 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 no. What did I do to piss him off like that? Why would Andy ever... No, he would never. Not my Andy. No, I suppose he might. I mean... You you put him in this corner, man. I mean, you, you did this to him. No, I suppose he might. It doesn't justify it, but like... I mean... It's him less and less and less. Everything okay with you? So she's noticing that he's getting more agitated and just not saying anything. And he might... And that's... Uh, so is she planning on killing him? Oh, uh, I guess I had a nightmare. A vision? No! Haha, <laughs> no, it was just vague nonsense, okay? Hey, hey Andy. Please be Andy, please be Andy, please be Andy, please. Uh, what is it? Oh, thank fuck. Nothing, nothing, never mind. I just love you so much. Thanks. Jeez, what a shit reply as usual. Would it kill you to say it back to me every once in a while? You keep calling me by some other guy's name. What do you expect? Come on then. Our parents won't jump into the ocean by themselves. Oh, brother. I don't like where this is even going. This... Haha, <laughs> whoops. Are you picking them up or what? Hey now, I wasn't the one who packed them in the f in this flimsy bag. I said pick them up, you dumb bitch. What did you just call me? Now, Ashley. Alright, alright. 
Oh, he's getting agile. He's getting pissed. Thank God no one is here at this hour. Okay, so don't stray too far into the light. Just in case someone does pass by. Wait, so we're not supposed to go in the light? What the hell? Oh, Andrew drops the bag with the bones and rocks into the ocean. What about the skulls, since they're no longer in the bag? Whatever, chuck them. If you say so. Well then, my congratulations for your loss. <sighs> Very clever. What is it? Nothing. So what do we do now? Whatever you want. Oh, well, this is new. How come? Well, end up doing whatever you want anyway. Why even ask me? Are you uh, mad at me? Nah. What do you want to do, Ashley? I want to do what you want to do. Want to turn ourselves in then? Well, not that. What the hell? So much for my opinion. Not that I was serious. You're totally mad at me, Andy. Why? Remember when you promised you wouldn't call me that anymore? Nope, but I remember half a minute ago when you said we do what I want. You're really going to treat me like this way after all I've just done for you? So you're mad at me. I fucking knew it. I asked you for one thing, Ashley. One. Not a big thing. Mind you, not even a difficult one. Yeah, I'm mad. But so what? It's not as if you're going to do anything about it. Just pick the next stupid thing you want to do and let's go. You were fine with me calling you Andy back at the house yesterday? I had to be, didn't I? You know I couldn't afford to start a fight with you then. That's why you started pushing for it. You think I didn't pick up on that? Oh Jesus, they're doing it again! They're fighting! Well, there's neither appearances to keep nor courses to hide now. Do you want to have another go at it? Well? What would you want, a Andrew? <sighs> I want to lock you in the trunk of the car and drive off this bridge. <laughs> you think I'm kidding? Ew, I don't want to be in the same grave as mom and dad. Then spare me half of the fucking respect I give you. I will, right after you love me, with half the heart I love you with, asshole. Say how exactly is irritating me supposed to inspire tenderness? Huh, it's complicated. I'm a very complex person like that. Oh my god. The hell you are, you absolute simpleton. If I'm so simple, how come you can't keep up? I'd have to be stupid to understand the thoughts of the stupids. Arrogant prick, get over yourself. Maybe later. Meanwhile, you should get in the car. We're out of here. Oh, where are we going? To the bottom of the ocean, dumbass. He already told you. Damn. <laughs> I don't know yet, but I want to leave before the corpses float up or something. I wonder if we're fine now. Yeah, this probably... It's probably fine. End of episode 2. Want to save the game? Yeah, I'll save. And you continue here once episode 3 Decay has been updated. Alrighty, so I don't know if there's another ending to this game. So I'm gonna just leave it at that. Thank you guys for watching. Like and comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification for more videos just like this one. And I shall see y'all later. And I'm sorry this is a longer video. Actually, I'm not sorry. Uh, give me watch time or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm playing. I already have watch time. Alright, peace.